All right, so we got a nice vein structure here. This is exposed also 30 meters this way. So obviously this continues quite a ways. You can see the heavily oxidized rock. This is a schistos rock. But most of this material here and all this white material is deteriorated quartz. As you can see. So you can see your schists and those little bugs right there are where pyrite used to be. You can see quartz and see how buggy it is. This material contains some gold and what we want to do it's just crush a little bit of it. We're gonna use just a hammer, a mini sledgehammer, and we're gonna crush as much as we can, as fine as we can, and uh, we'll pan it out. So we'll take some from this material here, and then we'll take some of that white material and do a couple pans, see what comes out of that. So I'm going to be assuming we're going to be pulling some magnetite out of this as well because uh, that's kind of what's in the area. Pyrite, magnetite, minor calcopyrite, and a bit of gold. Just very deteriorated. see some of the quartz there. Some of the quartz there. And here's some of this material here. This is all deteriorated quartz but it's almost like clay now. This is all quartz vein right here. You can see some pieces of quartz are still intact, but most of it's not. So we'll get our material and let's go panning. It's getting dark pretty quickly so we'll have to hurry. So we're 30 meters away, here's some of the other quartz, these samples are from right in here. So lots of good samples. Let's go see some gold. Okay, so we got two types of material here. It's getting dark on us, so we gotta hurry. This is some of the crushed vein material. We basically just took a sledgehammer and crushed it up. We don't have our crusher with us. So there's some bigger chunks here of quartz still in there. This is another part of the vein. Quartz vein has been so deteriorated that it's almost turned to like a, a clay. So we wanna pan both of these out separately and see if there's any gold or any kind of sulfides in either 
that uh, might be good for a analysis or a test. So let's uh, do this one first. We got this pan here today. I don't have my better pan. So we'll make do. Let's get to her. I'm just trying to break some of this material up before I actually pan it. Some of this is actually chunks. Some of it's just super cemented together. So you can see, now we're actually getting down to areas we can see lots of chunks of quartz here. It's getting pretty windy up here. Okay, let's just take a quick look at that. This doesn't look like much at first glance. I think there's a couple of fine specks in there. There's definitely some magnetite and some sulfides. Yeah, there's definitely a couple pieces of gold. All right, so we got our other material here. Again, it's not super well crushed, but we're hoping to see something in it. It's nice to see a couple specks at least in that other stuff. Definitely easier to pan out.
Looks like there's a bit more sulfides in this. Still some quartz. Yeah, so this is basically all sulfides in here that I'm panning off now. You got pyrite, magnetite for sure. I don't think I'm going to be able to tell if there's any gold in here. At least not with the lighting. There might be some in there. Sort of looks like it, but I'd have to look under a loop. Anyway, that uh, vein analyzed at almost an ounce a ton, so we only did about two gallons of material, a two gallon bucket. Um, so I wasn't expecting a whole ton, but it's nice to see at least a couple specks. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's time to get out of the rain and wind.